Hey, how you doing? Welcome to this FCPX tutorial. So, quite a few people, I made a video, um, I think it was quite a while back, showing you how to keyframe text. So you could put text as an overlay um, over your videos, not so much as an overlay, but over the top of your videos, and you could keyframe the movement around the screen. Some people have asked me to update that um, for the latest version of FCPX. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. It's very, very simple. Hopefully this video won't take too long, but it will help you out. So um, I'm also gonna do it with 3D text. So just imagine this um, image here is your video. Um, that you're you're creating you've dragged it into your timeline don't worry about this this music down here it's grayed out because i've just got it um disabled that's all it's just the music that i normally play over my um of my video tutorials or just sort of lowly low in the background of my video tutorials. so and then i'm going to come over here to text um, go to my effects and choose the text one and then i'm going to find this basic 3d and i'm just going to drag it into a place um, in my timeline above my original video now obviously if you want it for the duration of your video you're gonna have to highlight it like so um, and then just drag the end out and um, for as long as you want it over the duration of your video so now I'm going to go ahead and edit this basic 3d text um, and I'm gonna do this first and foremost by um, when you first select it first drag your um, basic 3d text in you'll ha normally have this title right up here um, selected and you can fade it in so you can do some things here with the um, with the, the the published parameters that you can um, that you can already play around with but really I'm just going to go to the text and change the text so I'll go to the text and up here you can edit the text um, and I'm just going to type um, your name because that's what it will be um, so it'll be your name or your tag, whatever it is. And if you want to change the um, the font, you do that right here like so. Very simple. Um, and let's just sort of go for, yeah, just go for something um, sort of quite thick. Um, and then the size you can edit here. Really simple to edit the size. Um, and the depth of the 3D you can edit right here. So it just makes it a bit thicker. And I'm just going to increase the thickness of mine. Um, I'm going to drag the size down a little bit because I don't want it quite that big. Um, and then I'm going to want to move it. Now, there's various ways that we can move it. Um, in fact, let's change the let's change the color first. So I'm going to just change the um, the the type of what it is. Um, you could have a nice metal, I suppose. Um, miscellaneous. Um, in fact, I'm just going to leave it as it is um, and have the basic. And then the color down here, I'm just going to select it. I'm just going to make it red because it stands at... No, I'm going to make it that yellow, the same color as... Ish, as the background. So now, there's a few ways in which I can move it if we go back to, to moving it. Obviously, here in the 3D text, you can change all the bevel and all that stuff. But um, let me talk about moving it. Go to my video tab up here. And then this position, the X, the Y positions, I can click left click on my mouse and I can move the position like so by moving up and down on my mouse um, or whatever it is that you're using and um, but the easiest way to do it really is select your text like so in the timeline select this little button down here to transform crop distort you want to make sure it's on transform and then all we're gonna do is drag these anchor points and drag your text down to where you want it to be. I'm just going to change the color of that because it's too yellow for my liking. It's a bit better. So I'm going to just change the um, change the position of where I want it to be. Now, if I want this to move position on the screen, I drag my timeline, say um, here over my um, my playhead over my timeline around here my text and I click this little plus button so that's my first keyframe so my text is gonna start from the position it's in now over the duration of this period here so we went from whatever it was for 
whatever whatever it was. Let's have a look what it was from 454 over the duration of from 454 to five minutes. So over the duration of six seconds, this text is going to move to the other side of the screen. Okay, really simple. Now, if I play that back over the duration of six seconds, my text will move from 454 to six minutes over the other side of the screen. Okay, so then from there on in, it will stay at that side of the screen. So if I now want to move that text again and make sure my text is selected, I click keyframe so it will start again from 506. My text will now move again. And from 506 to 512, so for another six seconds, over the duration of six seconds, I want my text to move over here. But I also want it with this little um, little blue thing here. I want it to spin a couple of times. So I'm just going to spin it a couple of times. And I want it to finish up sort of this position here. And that's where my text is going to finish. And that's me doing it. So I've clicked done. So over the duration of that time from 4.54 to 5.12, my text is going to move from the bottom left, as you can see it came in, because that's the, the standard way that the basic text comes in. I haven't done anything special. It moves across the duration from that. And then as we get to 5.06 on my timeline, right here, watch it right here. You'll notice it spins and it moves up and finishes right here on my screen. Now, if I want to animate it in the top left of my screen over the next however long, there's a way I could do this. I can, um, I think the best way is go to my video and let's say we're just gonna change the scale. So here, if I'm gonna keyframe anything within my inspector view of my um, of my text. I click the little plus button to start the keyframe at 517. Then over the duration of 517, 518, 519, 520, my text is gonna grow in size like so. I'm just gonna drag it down a little bit because it's, it's just off the screen. So over that duration, my text is gonna grow in size um, to this 117%. And there's no need to press keyframe again because it's already um, it's already automatically keyframed it for us. So if we go back to um, sort of here, 506, we watch the text move up until 512. The text will move. Now from 517 onwards for three seconds, the text will begin to grow. So that's keyframing within the inspector. And now let's just give you another example of that that I can actually, um, so you can rotate and you can anchor it, you can scale it, you can change the scale, the X and the Y scale. So does it go lengthways, does it go heightways? Um, and there's lots of ways that you can um, that you can keyframe it. But it is very basic and very, very simple. There, there's lots of intricate ways that you can get into and create um, you know, some great looking text movements. But I've covered all that in previous videos, so it's pointless covering it again. So I hope this has helped you out. I hope it's updated you. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you all again soon. Take care.